In this video, we'll take a look at how files can be copied from an existing SOLIDWORKS PDM vault into the 3D Experience 3D drive. Here's the workflow we will go through. We'll copy the files from PDM into 3D drive, create a URL link to share with our customer or vendor, then we will log into the 3D Experience as the customer or vendor to see what it looks like from their end. So why would we want to do this? We'll first start with your point of view as the person uploading files to 3D Drive. Later, we'll take a look at the benefits from the customer's perspective. We can automate the copy process from PDM to 3D Drive, either by simply right-clicking on the file we want to copy, or we can further automate the process by telling the system to copy the files during a state transition. Additionally, you are not required to upload all of the reference files of an assembly in order for your customer or vendor to properly view the files. This saves upload time and it also saves space in 3D Drive. The 3D Drive in the 3D Experience platform can be used to store files. These files can be shared with external users such as customers, vendors, or contractors through a shareable link. Files can be copied and pasted or saved directly into 3D Drive, which I have open on the right. Or if your company is using SOLIDWORKS PDM, a custom dispatch script can be used to copy the files from PDM to 3D Drive. So in this example, I have PDM loaded on the left and my 3D Drive view loaded on the right. So let's say I wanted to copy this base subassembly and all of its referenced parts into 3D Drive. What I can do is access this file in PDM, go to the Contains tab, and highlight all of the files. Before I copy this over, I want to point out where the files are going to be copied to in 3D Drive. My dispatch script has told it to go into the PDM test folder, and from in here it should create a new folder with the name of Fresh Flashlight since that's the name of the PDM folder. So I'll right click on these files and choose to run my custom dispatch script. You can see it's working on creating this Fresh Flashlight folder. And within there, we can see the system starting to sync these files onto the cloud. So once they get that green check mark, that means that they are synced. Now I'm accessing my 3D drive from the internet. So in order to create this link to share to the customer, I make sure that I'm in the correct folder, go to the information, click on the access by link tab, and what I have to do is actually activate external sharing link. So this is to make sure that nobody is going to be able to get this link by mistake. So I've purposefully made this available. From here, I can copy this link and now it's copied to my clipboard. I can paste it to a customer or a vendor and they'll be able to view that, which I'll show in the next section. Before I show how it looks on the customer's end, let's review the benefits from their point of view. From their perspective, they're able to create a free 3D Experience account. They can preview these files directly in the browser, so they do not have to download the models onto their own machines. Additionally, they're able to make markups of the model directly in the browser. Now I'm acting as the customer or vendor that would want to view the files based on the link that you have sent them, so they would paste it into their browser and they would not have to be using incognito mode. Here they can create a free 3D experience account if they don't already have one, or they can use an existing SOLIDWORKS ID which is used in your customer portal account or mysolidworks.com. Once they log in, it'll direct them to 3D Drive and they'll only be able to see the files that you've shared with them through that link. So in this example, the only file that we have shared with them is this flashlight assembly, but they can actually either download it locally onto their computer, and they could actually open that in eDrawings, and they would be able to see that without any issues or they can preview it directly within the internet without having to download it. And this is loading in 3D Play. It's fairly similar to eDrawings where they can spin it around. They can view the standard views of it. 
and they can also mark it up using the markup tools available in the 3D Play. So they can add arrows, add text, etc. Take a screenshot and send the uh, notifications back to you. If you're interested in learning more, reach out to your account manager or contact us through the number or email listed below. Thank you.